Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I got a great surprise today. So check this out. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to think about what may be in this box. I've actually had this for a couple months now and uh, I've been waiting for the right moment to install them. Although today's not gonna be the day, the day I install them, I, uh, I'm gonna show you these today and I'm hoping to install these in the next couple of days. Unfortunately today I don't have any time. However, you all get to see this in the same video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the camera up and I will show you what's in these two boxes because there's another box over here. Some of the OGs will know what this, what's in this box. Um, but yeah, most of you don't know what I have here. All right, guys. When I tell you I've been waiting a long time for these, not only to find them, but to actually get them, I'm telling you, it's, it's, been, it's been a bit of a hassle. Um, these are very, very rare. Now they are, they didn't used to be this way, um, but they're rare and it's nearly like impossible to get uh, brand new. Like they're, you, you just, it's, they're almost like, I'm telling you, they're almost impossible. I've been, I've been looking for the past year plus and a lot of you know, I've been in the Evo community quite a while, so I have my connects and all that stuff and they couldn't even get them. Uh, but anyways, let's get to it. Here they are. And I'll go ahead and pull one of them out and show you what I have here. You can probably already tell what they are, obviously, from the not only from the description of the of the video, but also by reading this on the box. And here they are. These are my new JDM AMR tail lights look at these things they are gorgeous check it out Stanley no cracks nothing beautiful brand new packaging from Mitsubishi so I know a lot of you are gonna ask hey where did you get these from so on and so forth um, that that process was a bit of a pain in the ass so uh, I'll honestly just save it and just keep it to myself. Um, honestly, you couldn't get a set from that guy anyway, so it'd be kind of useless to even tell you, but I did get them from a dealer. Uh, only certain dealerships get these, and um, unfortunately, they're just very hard to find right now. Like, a dealer will typically get here in the States, maybe, like, only, there's only like a handful of dealers that get these that can actually have access to order these, and uh, honestly, they only get like three sets a year. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I, I don't remember. He, he, I think he told me anywhere from three to five sets a year. Anyways, here they are. Been waiting for these for a long time. I actually had a depot version of these back in the day, like in 2011 or so, and uh, ended up trading them for the JDM Seven Tails that I currently have. And believe it or not, these things were actually like, first of all, they, they weren't as expensive as I, I paid for them now but they were like readily available you can get these through stm anywhere like literally they're everywhere and they were about 350 bucks actually funny enough the evo 7s ones were the ones that everybody wanted and were a little bit more expensive and crazy crazier to find so um my plan is to keep the sevens and kind of swap with these back and forth um, so now you're gonna ask how much i paid for them i'm, I'm not gonna lie i uh, I, I overpaid I, I really did um, it's one of those things where, you know, supply and demand kind of thing. But I knew if I didn't get this set for the price that I did now, I would regret it later on. Um, but I, I ended up paying a uh, roughly about like almost a grand for these, mainly because they were new. Um, all the ones that were for sale had like chips because these these uh, tail lights are easy to chip chip corners around the edges because there's nothing really backing it up back here. But yeah, these are absolutely perfect. I also went ahead and bought these, which are OEM JDM side markers. So when I ended up getting rid of the depot taillights that I had, I uh, actually kept those uh, markers and I didn't realize it, but these um, these don't have that, but the, the depot ones actually say depot on them. I didn't even realize it, I just popped them off. So I'll go grab those so I can show you the difference. But in the meantime, here's the part number and it's just one part number. They're both the same. You just flip them the other way. 
but that's the part number for that. And the part number for that specific tail light, which is the right one, is that one. I believe, I believe the left one, the left one should be either 16 or, or 18. All right, guys, there it is. That's the part number for the other one. So it's 18 for the left and 17 for the right. And I got the side marker right here. This is the ones I've been rocking with forever. Um, actually, as you can tell right there, it says Depot. And I don't know if it's this one or the other one, but it was pretty much falling apart anyway, so it's time for new ones. But I don't want you guys thinking like, hey, this guy's turning into a snob buying all these parts. That's not the reason why I've been buying all OEM everything and kind of, uh, not only do I enjoy OEM fitment, but also um, you guys need to remember that these cars are becoming a little bit more rare nowadays. And with that being said, it's, it's like these cars, I've owned this car for so long that I'm trying to put new OEM parts on it just because I know in the near future they're gonna be almost impossible to find. So I'm doing it now so I don't have to worry about it basically, you know, in 10, 15 years. Um, by 15 years, probably need to redo it again, but I'll deal with that once I get there. But yeah, guys, pretty stoked. And I'm very happy to have these. And this is the company I got this through. And uh, I actually got the, these through Yahoo Auctions. And I've already shown you guys, well, some of you guys this, but as you can tell, all this JDM paper. This is a replacement JDM7 tail light. And it's in perfect condition. No cracks, no anything no issues at all. So, uh, the, the current one that I have is damaged and actually I'll just go ahead and take you there and show you. All right guys, so as you can tell, this tail light, and it came like this. This is how I actually uh, got them. I actually traded the depot tails for these plus cash on my end. It's got a chip over there. And it's got a chip missing right over there. So now I'll have a perfect set of sevens because this one is perfect. All right, guys, got one tail light in. I just wanted to give you a quick view of both at the same time so you're able to see the difference. So uh, let me know which one you like best. Are you with JDM MR8 team over here or Evo 7 tails over here? Which one you like best? Honestly, now that I'm looking at both at the same time, I think I think the seven tails look better with the wingless trunk and I think with a wing I think the eight tails would look better it just gives it more of a UK kind of feel but I'm really digging these the contrast that you get it just has that classic uh, like Evo feel I remember when I was when I was in the market for these cars, I would take a look at the, like a 2005 in a graphite gray color. And uh, that, that the, these tails and headlights were just so iconic. And obviously it was great with the headlights. So these are the same exact headlights. Um, so now I got a matching set and got the JDM Amber markers. Cars looking good guys. Pretty stoked. I'm digging it. So I'm gonna get the next one in and then I'll take the car out and show you guys what it looks like as a whole. Mm -hmm. 